Hello, I'm Ricky Lee, and today on the watch list, we're joined by Immu Pharma, which just filed a new patent for P140, billed as the world's first immunormalizer, aimed at precision diagnosis and treatment across autoimmune diseases. The company says P140 restores immune homeostasis rather than broadly suppressing the immune system, and the market noticed. Joining me today to discuss this exciting news is Immu Pharma CEO Tim McCarthy. Tim, welcome to the watch list. Thank you very much, Ricky. Uh, first time for me on this platform. I'm delighted. Thank you for inviting me. And we're delighted to have you with us today. So Tim, first up, those breakthrough autoimmune findings in the P140 program, what specifically did you uncover and how do they confirm P140's mechanism of action? Yes, well, in your introduction, you just about summarized it very nicely. So I'm going to use this, <laughs> the same words that you have actually to describe. This this is truly a groundbreaking uh, new invention by, by the team at Emu Pharma. And it's focused in the area of autoimmune disease, uh, which is something which uh, your listeners and viewers will know that we've been working in, in the area of lupus before. But what this new uh, invention allows us to do is to apply the same technology across all autoimmune diseases, maybe up to 50 different indications. And it's a combination of precise diagnostic together with the therapeutic, as you said in your introduction. And that's really important on both sides because um, patients who are suffering from an undiagnosed autoimmune disease sometimes take years to get properly diagnosed and so they're suffering during that time and then they go on to a treatment and the current treatments out in the marketplace frankly are not as efficient as they could be and they come with lots of side effects. So what we've got in P140 is a very precise and quick precision diagnostic which takes a, a lot of, of time out of the equation for patients. They get to treatment quicker and when they get to that treatment what P140 does across a whole host of auto different autoimmune diseases is to treat it very effectively and when I say effectively it means that we are able to target the specific indication or disease that the patient is suffering from and we bring as again as you said in your introduction we bring the immune system back into homeostasis or balance without causing any side effects and essentially putting that person back into a normal state so we go so far as to say that Potentially, we could be putting patients into remission with P140. That's how groundbreaking this, this discovery is. Wow, okay, sounds incredible. So we know that some, the investor chatter is a bit split here. Some see some strong uh, uh, upside and others worry about valuation. Can you walk us through the near-term timelines and milestones? And most importantly, how confident you are about landing a partnering deal? Yes, of course. Um, valuation is always uh, an interesting one to talk about for a company like Emu Pharma. And we've seen an enormous rise in the share price and the underlying valuation of the last couple of weeks since we put the notice out. And I think what's driving that is suddenly a realisation that firstly, Emu Pharma and the underlying technology has been so undervalued in, in recent years um, because there's a lack of understanding of what we were doing. And what we've now done is to crystallize that in the release that we put out a couple of weeks ago. But we've gone one step further to actually say, look, we've got actually a lot more than perhaps you even realized before. So how do you value a company like Immu Pharma? You can only really value it on what people believe the, value, the underlying technology is, is worth. And again, you, you, you extrapolate that out into the potential market opportunity, the number of patients. We're talking about going into a, an autoimmune um, disease area uh, that is worth 400 billion per year uh, and uh, sorry 100 billion dollars per year but 400 million patients I'll get that the right way around um, we're also talking about a company in diagnostic market which in itself is worth 10 billion dollars a year so so the opportunity here is across the whole autoimmune space so the fact that we've grown uh, by a share price rise um, with a valuation quite dramatically in the last two weeks is only just the start. And I understand why people are uh, asking the question, is it undervalued, overvalued? Is it being overdone in the last couple of weeks? I don't believe so. Um, and the next step for us is very much to take this technology and continue our discussions with pharma partners in the industry who are you know, very, very keen on the autoimmune um, space at the moment. So we've got a lot of interest. We've got a lot of discussions going on. And we have said quite clearly 
that we expect to be entering into deals, you know, in the next uh, few months, certainly by the end of, of this year. And we're going to stick to that. And that is going to then underpin the valuation that we're seeing growing quite steadily um, in the marketplace and land. Well, on that same note there, where is the cash runway today? And, and what's the funding strategy for upcoming trials and operations? The funding position is, is very solid, actually, in Indy Farm, the most solid it's been um, for years, in fact. And just to try and put that in context, we, we signed our four-year accounts off for uh, 24 in um, May this year. And in signing those off, you have to demonstrate to the auditors you've got at least 12 months runway on your cash. So that takes us out to, to May next year anyway. Um, and then the assumptions we used on that forecast uh, have only got better in the sense that um, we've got funding coming in from arrangement with, with Landstead, uh, which with the share price rises, it's been recently has, has mean that we're getting a lot more money under that than we previously forecast. We're having warrants that are perhaps down with the company being exercised, which obviously brings in exercise money. So all of that is contributing to pushing that runway out a little bit further. But the um, the ongoing re uh, requirement for cash will be met through deals, through commercial deals. So partners will pick up the, the bill for any clinical trials that we do in the future and then our underlying operations, which frankly is not that expensive because we're a very virtual company. We don't have lots of overheads and laboratories and, and offices, et cetera. So our, our ongoing um, overheads are very low, but that will all be met by the type of deals that we do, which typically are upfront payments, milestone payments, and then obviously royalties on sales. So the future from a financial perspective is looking very bright for the company and its shareholders. And certainly I want to send the, the clear message out. Nobody should be concerned about our cash position. Well, thank you so much for clearing that up today, Tim. And thanks to Immu Pharma for joining us. Uh, that was Immu Pharma and the P140 Immu Normalizer. For more, check out immupharma.co.uk. That's all for the watch list today. And I'm Ricky Lee. Make good choices.